We are heading to Hogsback. <laughs> My family used to love going to Hogsback. So many people yes, love Hogsback. Yes. There's, so. there's a beautiful hiking trail there called the Amatola Trail, which is awesome. And then also, um, it's about a 33 kilometer drive from Alice. And we will be spending the night there. It will be my first time in Oxback. I've heard so much about it. So I really can't wait to see it. These are the Hogsback Mountains. Are they? Yes. They sure are beautiful. I'm telling you it is fantastic. How are these little villages all up against yes. the mountain? Fascinating, eh? <laughs> we are at the bottom. We are going to be heading up. But the sun has tucked its head away and it is freezing outside here. This is absolutely stunning, this area, eh? Well, it's all about nature, this place, yeah, right? Definitely. Incredibly beautiful, eh? Yeah. Hogs back. We have arrived. You are now entering Cape Parrot Country. Wow. That sounds cool. Here. Been many years for you, hey? Many, many. Hello, smell the forest. I do smell it. Yeah. stop for us. Definitely. It's called the Hogsback Bottle Store. Bottle Store. <laughs> I'm coming to the Bottle Store. So I've got my refreshments. <laughs> <laughs> so you are right. Yes. Away with the fairies. Yes, I can believe that. That's for sure. Look at the cute chocolate shop. They 
historic hogs back in 1880. Yes. A hog's life. <laughs> Looks like a pretty good life to me. Yeah, it does. Happy Hogs Restaurant. Yeah, we're losing daylight, so we are going to find our accommodation and um, we'll explore Hogs back tomorrow morning. That'll be nice. Yeah. I can't wait. I think it's going to be fantastic. Already if I just looks look at this way. village. Eh? <laughs> half past five. And look what it looks like. Looks like half past six. Yeah. our place King's Lodge yes here we go it is our place we bought it for the night <laughs> wow. there's no cell phone signal but it doesn't look like no shedding, does it? I have no idea. Can you go and check in? I love this place. You smell the forest, you smell the fire. This is our little cottage. I'm going to light that fire just now. I think it'll heat this little place up in no time. This is like a real little forest cabin. shower over the bath. Okay, I can deal with that. We are starting off with a shared plate of crumbed mushrooms. Just a quick snack. Um, three have gone missing already, so that's why the plate looks a bit... 
<laughs> we empty uh, into our mouths. <laughs> Down the hatch. Yes. <laughs> this is Sonia's pasta. It's the bacon and mushroom pasta. Yes. And this is mine. I'm having, look at the steam. I'm having a beef stew. So we've just walked back from the dining lounge of the lodge where we're staying and uh, we've settled in, got the heaters going because it's ice cold here in Hogsback tonight. I'm uh, going to settle in and warm up and I think I'm going to make me a hot cup of coffee just now and we'll see you guys in the morning. I've decided to have a cup of mocha with Sonny this morning. But just listen and look. King's Lodge in Hogsback. Fantastic. I just heard a baboon bark. Apparently they come marching through here every day, but they don't stick to a certain time. <laughs> so it's just lucky if you see them. There you go, do you hear that? Good morning. We are in Hog's Back. It is a beautiful place, this. Our cottage's name was Shady Cottage. Yo, I love this place. It is so calm. This is like in a wilderness, real wilderness. Absolutely beautiful. I want to take you for a walk around and show you. That's our little cottage. Here you can see it's called Shady Cottage. Well, definitely going to be in the shade. I can imagine, because it's autumn now, Going into winter, I can just imagine what it looks like when it's lush with leaves. But this autumn colors are amazing. Swimming pool. Not that I'll use it now. Absolutely stunning place. I just want to go and check how far they are with our breakfast. We're sitting here and they brought our breakfast right to our little bungalow. Oh, this is going to be so awesome, sitting here enjoying a breakfast. Just heard another baboon bark. This is an omelette with bacon, mushroom and cheese and ciabatta. And then of course an English breakfast. Wow, oh, it's going to be stunning.
Wow, we. You say you don't want to leave. Don't want to leave. Shady cottage. Oh, stunning. Absolutely stunning. What a magnificent place this is. This is a place one can really come and sit down for a week, eh? Um, I think even we would manage that. <laughs> yes. This is such a yeah. gorgeous place. And quiet. Spectacular and the folks are incredibly friendly. No. Next level friendly. And so proud of their place. Yeah, hey? that's for sure. No, I'll definitely a, be back here. Definitely. It 100%. was a fantastic experience. Yeah. So now we are going to explore a bit of hogs back. I would love to. So, firstly, I'd just like to say we aren't going to be doing any, any hikes. And I'm the reason for that. <laughs> That's just the way it is. But we are going to explore the other things. That I am able to do. Yes. I'm going to go back to the beginning where we came in last night and work our way up. So, for me, it's so fascinating the manager at our accommodation says that um, when it snows people come flooding in here. <laughs> you can't believe it, eh? But it looks like we've hit it on a relatively quiet weekend. I'm so glad. So I'm happy about that. And you know the autumn colours, hey? Yeah. They really get me. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful morning sun. Yes. Clear day. The manager, yeah, this is where we stayed last yes, night. Yes, King's Lodge. The manager says that we've got a beautiful day today. That's fantastic. Yeah. And it's chilly. Yeah. But it's not crazy cold. No wind, clear skies. It was cold last night though. Yes. But that little bungalow was so warm. It felt like our own little cabin in the woods. <laughs> It was our own little cabin in the woods. <laughs> it really did. doable to me. Definitely. This is a stop for us. Let's go. Yes. The chocolate shop. It's a cute little shop. Such a glare. Look at this. Definitely going to buy some of these. And then they serve coffee this side of the chocolate factory. Or oh, the chocolate shop. Did so to town? I went to town. I couldn't. I didn't know what to pick, so I picked them all. So, is it me who has the sweet tooth, or you? Uh, we both have, but this can last us for two or three days. You oh, know? you have another thing. Coming <laughs> if you think that. But I think this is going to be stunning. We've got all the varieties of fudges they have, and then the um, orange truffle. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be nice. So it's the traditional fudge, white chocolate, and pecan nut. And then I think there's a mint chocolate one as well. Yes, mint okay. chocolate crunch. Uh, oh, it's going to be really nice. Looks like the perfect mid-morning snack to me. <laughs> I love the names 
It's happy hogs. Yes. Love the names here. Yeah. So our host gave us a map yeah. for non-hikers. Yes, which is brilliant. <laughs> A hog's life. You check it out. It's stunning, eh? I'll have a hog's life any day. This place is fantastic. I wanted to tell you there was this electrical wire hanging over the road and a young baboon ran all the way across. Really? Crazy. Happy hogs. Yeah. <laughs> So many places here, eh? So this is um, as far as we got last night. Yes. Everything now is new to me. Look at that petrol and diesel here, fantastic. Do we need? I'm going to fill up before we leave. Oh, God. their dogs on the back of the buckies yes. and the dogs, <laughs> dogs love it I've seen a few this morning already this is a major pine forest eh? yes it seems never ending yeah much nature to look at it's it's quite overwhelming yeah it is how beautiful it is here so this is in the Amatola mountain range yes before the Amatola hike yes okay told us that um, the Cape parrots can sometimes be heard but very seldom seen. No, because they just fly over, you know. They're too far away. Yeah, yeah. And then I believe one can spot nice Naluri too if you're lucky. Oh, that would be fantastic. Eh? Wouldn't it be just? Hawks back. You see it's a plantation. There yes. we go. So that are oh, pine. That's a pine forest definitely. Oh. Yeah. Those pine trees are so big. Oh, it will be devastating if they have to cut them down. Can you imagine what it will look like then? Eh? But they will ultimately. Isn't that what they grow them for? That is what they grow them for, but that will be a hot saw. Can you imagine what that area will look like once they've been cut down? Lots of evergreen trees here too, yeah. hey? Yes, I think we are where we want to be. Yes. Edge Mountain Retreat. Is that where we headed? That's where we're going. Okay. Apparently the view from there is spectacular. We just pulled in here at the edge. And there's a labyrinth. I just want to go and check that out.
These places are massive. Look at this. I'd have loved to fly in the drone over here, but I'm not allowed to. Yeah. Quite a walk. How's that for camouflage? Yeah. Isn't this a gorgeous chicken? It is. Got a type of leopard print vibe. Oh, I love her. Shoo <laughs> She's gorgeous. She is. Oh, this gate opens outside, outwards, so. We must close it to prevent the cows from jumping the grid. <laughs> Check the carving on that tree stump.
is gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah, this is stunning. Like in a different world. Absolutely beautiful. There's fishes in here.
This is what it looks like when it snows here. Yeah. The artist tells me that um, she built the shrine and she got a an old gentleman who lived in the village down below Hogsback here to build it and she says he only had stand at four but he got exactly what she wanted in, in mind and he built it exactly the way she wanted it yeah shows you and uh, he's passed away now Aww. but um, she says it's incredible how he just knew what she wanted and she showed him a picture of of a, a place that she had up he found in Europe that she wanted to do, do something similar to that and he couldn't believe apparently that there were such structures elsewhere in the world and he was so involved with it and taken up with this project that he did it perfectly and he was that's like incredible so he shared her vision in a way he definitely did he knew what she wanted that's so nice yeah. Good stuff. Very, very nice. Beautiful story. Onward. Okay, so Hawks back is delivering on every promise you made me. Sure. I've forgotten how stunning this place is. I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell a little story now. Um, <laughs> those of you that watched my Springfontein video that we brought out and heard that a friend of mine we slept over there at the sports field no we not slept over say it like it is <laughs> you ran away from home <laughs> it's nothing to laugh about we were naughty and in any case um we slept over at springfontein and we were heading to hogs back and we were yeah we stayed in the bush yeah in hogs back back then yeah fortunately it was summertime <laughs> Okay, yeah. so you're going to leave the rest of the story out? No, yeah, and then we were helped and my father came to fetch us. Helped by someone with a title of constable <laughs> and uh, you were taken to some facility. Yeah, but we stayed in the commander's house, he kept us in his house. And Only because you were youngsters. Yeah, but fine, it all turned out well. It's funny that you didn't tell me the story until after we were married because I would have identified certain tendencies. <laughs> but we were, I've, I've been adventurous from a young age. That's, those are the ones I'm talking about. <laughs> so one has to explore. There's yeah. so much to see, so little time. That's why you always say you wanted to live 200 years ago, hey? Right? Definitely, yeah. Why is it called hog's back? Do you know? Got no idea. It must have something to do with a hog. Yeah, and one would think. And it's back. One would think, but not in the way that you do. Let me tell you what I thought. I thought there's a mountain here that looks like a hog's back. Okay. So some think it was named for Captain Hogg, commander of Fort Michel or Mitchell. I'm not sure. I thought, think it's Fort Mitchell. Which one can only reach on a hike. Okay. Others think that it is because of the three peaks that overlook the village when seen from a certain angle resembles a hog's back. Not a hog like you know a hog. A hog's back is a geological term describing this particular rock formation. Okay. Interesting. So two right? options. I'd like to go for the, the fort. Yeah. Hogs yeah, back. me too. As we were approaching it, there was a mountain that looked like like a ridge on the top, and I thought I saw with a spine. Yes, it looked. I thought that's why it was called hog's back. That it looks like a a hog, a pig's back. But oh well. And then um, I forgot when I spoke about the parrot and the lurie this morning. Our host also explained about the samango monkeys. We haven't seen them yet. Oh, that would have been cute to see. He says they're cute, he says, but naughty. Yes, I, he says if you, open. if you leave your windows <laughs> open and there is food, there shall be no food. Go on. <laughs> you remember when we were in the park that time and those little vervet monkeys came running in, shoved the banana into under his the arm. chalet. <laughs> Actually, right into, yeah. grabbed a banana. Pushed it under his arm and grabbed another one. <laughs> 
were there with my parents. Remember yeah, my I mom, know. like, huh? <laughs> This wooden walkway. You wouldn't say it's like 10 to 11 in the morning, eh? Fantastic. No sunlight filters through here. Spectacular, eh? Wow. No, this place is everything it's 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 said to be yeah, and more. Definitely. I would I would be filming six hours of traveling on this road <laughs> if you had your way if i had my way because it is so beautiful it is it's just never ending look at this spectacular folks are really really lucky to live here definitely stone buildings This is our last star. Yes, St. Patrick, Patrick on, on the, the hill. hill, Chapel, Hogs Back. How cool. What congregation are you? Oh, St. Patrick's Chapel on the Hill in Hogs Back. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Well, I'll be. Stone and thatch. And look at the bell tower is also stone. Oh, that is gorgeous. Gonna take a walk. How fantastic is this? Oh no. So there was a fire that destroyed it in 2010 and then it was rededicated in 2011 after they fixed it. But I wonder when it was built. Built it in 1935. How beautiful.
I love it. A memory wall. Hello, hello. Awesome. It's also a pine tree. Really? Yeah, it's also been around for a while. The bark is interesting, right? Eh? Yeah. Listen to the water flowing. A church with magnificent views. The views are spectacular everywhere yeah, in Hogsback. Yeah, definitely. Makes me wonder why we only came here now. Right? Yeah, but we are working our way further and further away from home. Yeah, I know. Fantasia. It is a fantasy world for sure. Definitely. Yeah, I know. Home's not around the corner. Yep. I get that. It's a new one for us. Geese in the road. Yes. I wonder what they're eating. Yay. One bleeds. <laughs> So this painting would be called Autumn Forest. <laughs> How gorgeous is this? Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Oh. These have lost all their leaves but they also add to the painting. Sonia, the artist. Correct. Although, albeit only with a mouth. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Pretty. Now there's water flowing. I mean, the, just beautiful. Are we taking the low stuff road, you 
set. Yes. Look at these. There's some water. Oh, the water's flowing. It is. Pretty. That's your painting. Isn't it just too gorgeous? Sure. I would mix a little bit red in, if you know what I'm saying. I get you. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, I actually do know what to say. Tell me, you tell me. Every single synonym that you can imagine for the word beautiful describes this area and hops back. Sure. I mean, it's it's just next level, spectacular beauty wow. from when you enter until you exit. And it's definitely a revisit, this one. Definitely one on our list to come back to you to spend at least a week here. No doubt. I'm in agreement when. And it must be in the middle of winter when it's covered in snow. All right, you must just bring a bucky load of wood with you. <laughs> <laughs> and then blankets I, and electric blankets. <laughs> then I shall be on board. Cool. <laughs> no, I love dog's back. It was fantastic. Wonderful experience. Definitely, definitely we'll do it again. <laughs>